Hey, so now that I got all the tanks pretty much in place, you can see those behind me as well. What I'm gonna do is the plumbing right now. So I did make a mistake. Um, I did drill some holes in the IVC totes before I put them in place. So what I'll do next time if I ever do this again is to put everything in place before I drill it so I know how to do it. But otherwise, right now I'm gonna start doing the plumbing and connecting these IVC totes. And then I'll connect the different filters I have as well. Um, but I'll show you how I make each, each individual filter in uh, separate videos as well. Because I'll make a radial swirl filter, a moving bed bio filter, and radial flow filter. So I'll show you how I make those. But, also, but in this video, I'm just gonna show you how I do all the plumbing pretty much. So I'll show you that. All right, right now I'm gonna work on this side of the aquaponics system. So I'm first gonna connect these two IBC totes and then start connecting these. Uh, some of these I don't have to drill. I do have to drill a little hole at the top in that one or two inch hole. This one I don't have to drill at all. And then this one I just gotta drill on that side. So it's nice, I only have two holes that I have to drill in these two. And then these, I have to put two more bulkheads here. Um, and to connect those, but you can see that is what I'll be doing right now. So what I'm first going to do is mark the two places where I'll drill and then drill the pilot holes. So what I'll first do is drill a pilot hole right here. And because I have water in this tank already, what I'm going to do is going to hold this bucket on the other side to catch as much of the plastic as I can. After I drill the pilot hole, I'll use my hole saw, or yeah, the hole saw to make a bigger hole for the bulkhead fitting. This, I believe, is three inch, and I'm using two inch bulkhead fittings. Well, it's the largest size I have anyway, and it works. Again, I'm gonna put this thing on the other side. So now that the hole is cut, I will clean it up using a knife. So this hole is pretty much done. Before I install the bulkhead though, I'll wipe the inside of it and the outside. And I'll show you the other hole just on the opposite side so you can see how the container works. But most of the plastic anyway comes out on this side and then jumps in. So after you do drill the holes, you still wanna get a fine net and scoop it up. So I'll scoop it up after I drill the hole on that tank. After you drill the holes, you want to take a fine net. Since my net isn't that fine, I put a paper towel in here so that will help with catching the other plastic in the water. To install the bolt kit, it's very simple. Just take it, I'm putting the gasket on the inside. Inside usually doesn't matter. And then tighten it on the outside. Tighten it later, but you get the general idea. And then these will be created into the solids with the overflows. But in this video, I'll be showing you how I install all these bulkheads. This is the bulkhead I will be using. I don't have a link to where I got it from because I got it from a pond and koi shop near my home. But you can see how it looks. This is two inch, it's threaded on the inside. And then this, these threads you can't use. They're special for the giant nut you can say you put on here and it has reverse threads so that when you thread it, thread it it makes it easier to thread things on the inside and on the outside so it doesn't come undone but basically to put it on what you do is you just wipe the surfaces really you need only need to wipe the inside surface because that's where the gasket is and then you just but what to do is you just pretty much stick it in so the gasket can either be on the inside or the outside I'll put it on the inside this specific bulkhead comes with an extra plastic piece that you put here and then you take the giant nut and just screw it on. This has reverse thread so you go anti-clockwise. And then pretty much just hand tidying it is good enough. But before I tighten this I'm gonna do some other stuff but you get the general point. Now I also need to drill a hole over there. Basically an overflow to go into the filter that was right here. So I have this bigger uni still I got for free, but it ha has a bigger hole size than these ones, and I don't have a bigger hole saw, so I'm gonna see if it still works if I just thread it in there. Okay, 
Well, you can see it kind of pushed itself through. So I got these two parts set up with the bulkhead and then this piece with a threaded thing on it. So I put Teflon tape there, connected these two. This is kind of a weird angle though. I think it's because it needs water pressure to push it like this. So that's what I wanted ideally like. So I'm gonna add some more water in there. And I got that bulkhead there. So I got the three here. So those will connect to each other. This one will overflow there. So I got these two IBC totes connected. Because this one's a little inward, this side is higher, which is not good. So hopefully this pushes out like that and lowers it down like so you can see how those are connected so I got these they're a little more expensive but I think it makes it easier to just attach these onto a piece of PVC and onto here so here's a little piece that is threaded kind of a little piece like this just with threads on one side so right now I'm gonna be showing you how I'm setting up this first radial swirl filter so basically I have my bulkhead fitting there so what I'll first do is drill a hole up here a two and a half inch so a two inch pipe can fit in there so we'll go from here into there at an angle and that will create the swirling effect so that's what I'll be doing first in this one I don't have to move it because after I drill the hole I'll just blow everything to the bottom or wash it down um, so that's what I'll do basically drill a hole there connect it and then go from there That's the hole, and you can see a two inch pipe fits nicely in there. For this one, I actually have to drill a hole as well. For the third filter in this row, I also have to drill a hole, but it will be on this side because it will overflow into here. So now I have all the holes drilled. So I have this one there that one there and the hole up there so those are all the holes I need for this side of the filtration so basically what I will do is set up the bottom part or the part where they are connected but then I'll still show you individually how these are all set up there's not much to these ones like the rate of flow filters I just need to get some bigger 10 inch pipe that will stick in the center with a pipe going up the radial swirl filter it's just how the water is going to come in at a different angle still with the same with the pipe and this one I still need to get biomedia to fill up um, it's pretty simple as well with an air stone at the bottom but that is how that one is 